Hey guys, welcome back. It's your boy Loki, and welcome back to my channel, guys. So, yeah, I know I haven't been filming in the last few days. I've been really busy with uni and work, but I'm gonna try and get some filming today, tomorrow, and this whole week. I promise you guys, I know I've been telling you this. I've ordered stuff in, I'm waiting that for it to come. It's been getting delays and that because I got the wrong stuff, so I had to send that back, get it reordered. But hopefully, it should be arriving. I've got the new glass black batches for the front and the back I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna change the side quattro batches they're currently not silver but I'm gonna change them to black as well so it's gonna look more stylish. and I still haven't made my mind up with the trims how I'm gonna do it or I'm gonna get professional just waiting for the weather to change it's still rainy and stuff like that it's cold outside so i can't sit outside and do some work hopefully summer should come nearly it's nearly end of february but let's just hope for the best guys what is this guy doing okay i need to fuel up today yeah i need to fuel up i need to go to audi because my key fob is run out of battery so i need to get them changed yeah do you like walking to my key fob gave the name of the car as well, the letter A, so I know it's A. So yeah, I need to go there, change the battery, I don't know how much it said, and charge my thing, it's like a few pounds, I don't know. They said just pop in whenever you're free, and I said okay. So let's go over there, see if we can spot some nice cars in the showroom, and see what they have. But yeah, that's my plan today, let's fuel up first, so let's get them dry. Mm. Do love if you can see that but we've got nice Jaguar F-Pace no Jaguar is not really my type I don't know maybe it's just how they look some people like them but I don't really I just love my hoodies Let's just wait for that summer to come do so much filming so much videos it's just the weather here in the UK so down. you can see how it is and it's only like five o'clock now and it's getting dark and everything and it's very cold but yeah let's put on the seed warmers guys the best thing i love in the morning when i take my car is the seed warmers literally feels so nice it warms up straight away it gives you that good feeling guys but yeah let's go let's get in traffic it's just not good calling the traffic so yeah, mine's a diesel, so I only feel like BP. It may sound weird, but I prefer to just to stick to one brand. I like one company. Well, I stick to everything to one brand, like technology, so Sony or Apple stuff for use, and with clothing, Jack and Jones. But I do not pretend to like mix and match. I like everything to be matching and cool. So that yeah, but yeah. Let's go to BP. I've got a few BPs in Coventry, so that's really good. I've got one behind my house, one near the uni, one near my brother's house, so that's really good. So wherever I can always be able to get BP. So let's go to this BP here, fuel up, head towards Audi showroom Coventry, and see what they have. And let's see if I can get some cars to test drive. I'm not sure if we're gonna get anything today because it's really late. Should have begin early earlier, but I got stuck up with work. Hey guys, I'm inside now. I've given my key in and they're gonna change it. I didn't say any prices, just took the keys and let's just see what happens. It's there probably around 10 15 minutes. So let's see what they have inside, guys. This is the showroom. Just like any other showroom, but look what I found. Now that's a nice car, isn't it, guys? You just have to admit that, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, that, I, I like that. Yeah. Let's go inside, guys. What do you guys think? Should I get one of these? It's nice two seated. Play a stab one here. This one got a little seat, as you can see. Look for the cockpit. 
be literally the same as mine except we don't have one here otherwise it looks nice we've got your roof stuff you see no space in the back of the two seats should like one of these guys it looks really nice guys i have to say that something i would prefer the copy everything is really nice with the dial in the middle but mine is not in the middle you can change all these it's literally the same as mine yeah all your speakers here and here what do you guys think should i get a convertible or should i get a hard roof or should i get a tt that's the first question guys should i go for a tt you know what looks nice guys what she will do she will take one out for a test drive i have to say it is a nice car guys it's probably one of the choices if i'm going from audi or probably want to get the new a class she this is really nice guys so yeah we have to see how this looks might probably take this one for a drive but i'm not sure if i can play more on this because it's not hard roof and you won't be able to do anything guys but yeah guys let's see what they say but let me know guys should i get a tt probably not a tts because i won't be able to get insurance on that probably go for a normal one it's nice i have to say it's a nice body car guys let's have a look outside so this is the roast pounds, man this is what i'm gonna be paying for this baby guys yeah nice we've got our six here i'm sure the new one's gonna come out but what about that one guys should i get should i go back to one of these guys i know i miss my car a lot but should i go back to s3 but this time go for a sports back maybe what do you guys think let's have a look inside guys what we see this one's got all these sports inside. Let's see, this one feels the same. Oh, we've got the Alcantara steering wheel. Oh, that looks nice. We've got the newer carbon fiber inlays. These are the new ones, which I don't have. But yeah, so my A3 didn't have this. But, should I get for S3, guys? This time probably go for automatic gearbox because I'm used to it but yeah let's see if I remember that that's how the screen comes up this is your button let's turn off the music yeah guys everything is here you got your wheelchair cockpit here it's nice this is oh this is key guys no I'm not gonna like that carrying around a keyboard this is always nice this is the RS3 guys this is probably like 890 well, I'm gonna give this a go. So yeah guys, I wasn't able to get the car out because it's getting late and they don't have any stuffs available to take me out right now. It's nearly close in time so I would recommend this. They just pop in any other time and they were happy to show me any of the cars. But yeah, let's get back into my car. As you can see it's parked here. We've got A6, another A6, another A6 and someone just parked a Jaguar really and then look what we've got here we've got one of the classic A4 it's a 2004 one it's a nice one remember my parents used to have this one in bright red literally in this red they used to have it but yeah that was the first I remember that let's go in the car we will talk about that guys so yeah guys I'm back in the car now it's getting dark but I've got this light on should work this is the receipt they charged me Four pounds, 24 pounds. No, four pounds and 24 pence to get the battery change. And that gets full going as well. That's the only thing I had to pay that I get. Yeah. Something he said, it's covered for another few years. It's because I've been using my key a lot, guys. He was really shocked that, that I needed the battery change. Well, yeah, that's what happened, guys. So, yeah, battery change. But, yeah. Yeah, 
So my parents, they bought a 2004 Audi A4 in a nice red. This was when we used to live in Denmark. Sorry guys, let me just do that. It's blocked off. Okay guys, sorry about that. I don't know why. They, they blocked the, that way out, which was the way out. Now I have to go the way around, but yeah. So I was I saying, yeah, my parents bought an Audi A4 in a red S-Line. So back in 2004 which was very nice. That was my, like, I think that's when my Audi career started, because that, it was, we might, that's I'm from Denmark, so we, we lived in Bilon, and this was in Copenhagen. This was like a long travel, so that day we went out. That was me, my dad, my mom, and my younger brother, and that day my dad bought me and my younger brother a diary to write. That was like literally the first day I started writing in a diary. I've been taking the going to that. So it's a very special moment and that's when I started literally falling in love with cars and just the general I of Audis because this was the first showroom I actually went to to look at cars. And it was it was different. So yeah, we drew a long way I sent the car just writing diary saying, Oh, we're going to buy a new car, we're going to the showroom, it's called Audi. I think I said, I remember, it's a long way from my house, I remember that. But yeah, that's how it started, we went to the showroom, my dad looked a few cars, but he's already picked the car in advance, so we only just went there to collect it, which I found you. So we went there, we saw the car, it was really nice, he went for really bright red, because he wanted something probably in standing, 2004 played back then, brand new, and still on my age, it was really nice. I think we got the car, we drew back home. It's a really nice journey. And since then, that was the car we had for like a long time. And even when we moved to UK, we took that car with us. So we had that car for like a pretty long time. So we got to UK in 2007. I think we sold it after we got here, like a year or two afterwards. So uh, nine, so we probably had it for like six years. So that was a long time having that car. We did have a van as well, like a seven-seater, because we're a big family. But that was like my dad's the one we used most. If not, we were, the entire family went out. So that car was really nice. Spent a lot of time in that. I got to know just what's the car light. It was just Audi, and that time my family's relative they got Audis as well, because yeah, therefore that was the big brand and. Mercedes and BMW wasn't that. They didn't like the design of that, so everyone had Audi, and that's just how I got into the Audi ecosystem. And really, that's just how Audi came to me. Yeah, when me picking my first car, I always wanted to get Audi, but I never wanted to get brand new straight away or one from the showroom. I was thinking of buying one that was at least five, eight, ten years old because it was my first car, pretty much cheaper. But during the summer, I worked really hard. I saved a lot of money. And I was told that getting a PCP would be much better for me in the future run, in the long run. And they should go for one of those, buy it, and in a year's time, you can change it without the fuss and everything like that. So I thought that was a good idea. I gave it a try, but I didn't expect it to go through, but it did. And they said I could pick any car to reach my range. And that really didn't matter, because I do. I worked hard and I had a lot of money and my monthly was good enough to get a new car so that was really nice. That's how I came into the PCP in the first place and that's just how I'm rolling now. This one is in PCP as well. I just traded in my A40, put in a few thousand pounds, they gave me some contribution as well, Audi, and I got the keys for this. Paying a bit more monthly but yeah, because the car's worth nearly three times of what my A3 was. But yeah, that's how it is. But yeah, guys, I do need to get a second car, as I already said before. This TT 
was really nice. It's a convoy blue, but I'm not sure if we're gonna go for the convoy blue because then I don't have any good space in the back of the back seats because it's a two seater. Where the hard blue, we actually have two seats in the back. I know small seats pop, you never know, it might get to use one day or I can put stuff there. But yeah, I need to have a think about that. I still have to go to Mercedes and see how the new A1 look, the A class looks, because it's probably gonna look good, but that is a option. But we just have to see what we can get. I don't know, the combo, we'll see that combo was really nice just how it looked. But I just have to see what comes in my budget and what cars I can find here in local. I don't mind going for this like few hours to find another one. Probably I'm not gonna get a brand new one. I probably wanna get used or like a demo car. But yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, I hit eleven thousand one hundred and eleven miles today. Literally. So amazing guys. I took a picture of it just to remind me. But yeah, that's how quickly it goes my my mileage. It just runs. But yeah, from this car is too big anyway. But we need to see what happens. It's getting dark, guys. I'm extremely sorry. I do want to film some more, but I'm not even sure this is even good quality or if it's even seeable, viewable. But yeah, guys, let's just end it off here. I'm gonna head home and just relax, get this uploaded. But yeah, I mean, I'll make sure I do some more videos this week, please. Two more videos tomorrow. I might have time, but Thursday definitely I will do some videos, guys. But yeah. Thank you for watching guys, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, leave any comments guys, it'll be nice to chat with you guys, follow me on Instagram, everything is in the description guys, leave a like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one guys, take care, peace out.